what is going on guys welcome back to the channel as you can see by the title of this video we got a little bit of challenge today so today the sun has just came out it was a nice overcast day it rained just about all this morning and it rained partially for half a day yesterday what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be testing out this bass what is this this is a yum bass kit this is what we're gonna be fishing with today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna see if we can catch a bass on every single lure in here now the challenging part for me is is catching a fish on lizards i rarely i i use lizards but i've never caught a bass off of a lizard before and i rarely use them i do not use lizard lures a lot but one of my good friends of mine, man, he caught actually a three and a half, four pound bass, which was the last video that you guys see, which was that kayaking video. He loves to throw lizards. So when he caught that big bass, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to give me some lizards. So he also got a black and blue curly tail. We got a trick worm. We also got a blue and, what is this, blue and black? I wonder if we got the exact colors on here. It don't. So it's just a blue, blue flake. Then we also have a green. And then that's that watermelon seed right here. This was my favorite color to throw when I got back into bass fishing. I love to get these right here. So I hope you guys are ready for this video, man. If so, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get the alerts to the videos once they come out. That is enough talking. We're gonna get straight into this video. Let's go. And we also gonna be traveling very, very light. Majority of the lures that I'm gonna use is already in that kit there. Close our kit up, put that in our book bag. Also make sure we grab us a couple bottles of water. It's hot. Hello little fishy fishies. I hope you guys are ready. I hope y'all are prepared for what's about to happen. Hopefully we can rip some lips out here today, man. We're gonna come right here under this shade tree. Put our stuff down and get everything tied up. We got our Texas rig Cinco tied on also. So first one we're gonna start out with, we're gonna start out with the Cinco Texas rig. Ooh, look at this water, baby. It's super high out here. First cast. <clears throat> first cast of the day. Let's freaking go, man. I've been dying to do some good bass fishing. And I wanted to do some good bass fishing, so I was like, you know what? Might as well go to Walmart and set up a little challenge and see how we do. I actually love sink throwing Cinco's. Cinco's is one of my favorite baits to throw, actually. One of my favorite soft plastics. I'm more of a creature bait guy. Creature bait jigs. Um, I'm going to have to throw lizards into the arsenal wheel also because i don't throw them a lot but i definitely want to start throwing it a lot more Ooh, nice beautiful day out here man it looks amazing out here today oh there we go got him fish on fish on Fish on, he came to the bank and got it, baby. Come here, he came to the bank and chased him. There we go. Fish on, right in the middle of my conversation. I'm up here just enjoying the day and enjoying the view. And we got the first fish on the bank, man. Let's freaking go. Nice size fish. Kind of slim, but eh, right after the spawn. Hey man, you never know. Nice little beautiful fish, man. First fish of the day. I will definitely take it. Hey buddy, you smacked it. I wasn't expecting you to do that. I started to just daydream for a little bit because I'm like, man, it looks beautiful. It's not hot out here today. It feels freaking amazing out here. But man, we got our first fish. We will take it. Let's go. We gonna get them right back in the water. Give me a kiss. Get back out there. Get back out there. Woo, let's go. Hey, first lure 
is complete. The Texas Rig Cinco? You can't go wrong with a Cinco. Oh my goodness, guys. We stepped in an ant bed. I'm getting attacked right now. Oh, get off of me. Let's go with the old curly tail here. Let's get the next one out there. We definitely gotta watch for um we definitely gotta watch for ant beds because they just attacked me. First cast with the curly tail. Oh, uh, I'm so rude. Um, by the way, this is our Abu Garcia. This is our max ride. This is what is this? I think this is a seven feet. This is a seven feet medium heavy ride. Baycaster. I this was actually my first designer ride. As you can see, somehow one of my drag bars broke off. How? I do not know. Do not know how that happened. But that is what we're doing today. Using an Abu Garcia Max Ride. 10 pound line. Mono, of course. I see a lot of people like to use floral crop. Oh, 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 oh. We're getting a bite. 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 Got him. Got him. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, he came off. He came off. He came off. Oh, we saved him. Oh, he's super skinny. Super skinny. How about somebody help me in the comment section? Somebody help me. How do, and I would do my own research as well. You know, it is past the spawn season for the bass. So this is around the time to where they would start to look this way. They would just spawn. Tails would start to rip like this one right here. And they'll just be all spawned out because they down there mating, guarding their babies, and chilling with their wives. I need help. Can somebody help me identify what is a male bass and what is a female bass? Because if you look at the mouth on that boy, you got a nice little bucket mouth. I can't lie to you. Next time I have you some real food. There you go. Oh yeah, you want to hit a nice little flip? Okay. You want to show your acrobatic skills off? Hey, I am on your side. All right, man, there we go. We is just speeding through this. I want to just keep throwing one lure, but hey, we catch one on one. We swap that baby out for another one, man. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to go. You know what? Let's go with this one right here. Let's go with the lizard. I was going to throw the lizard weightless, but, but, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw them Texas rig style. Boom. Just like that right there. I, guys, if I catch a fish, I'm going to be, I might just jump in the water. <sighs> right out there. <sighs> Come on, baby. Let's go. We got a lizard in the building. Everybody watch out. He just fell from the sky. We see something. We see something. What is it? Oh, man. Let's freaking go, bro. Let's go. And I didn't throw him out there in the opening. I kind of threw him right up against the bank. So that way I could just drag him directly back to me. Along the bank line. See if there's somebody just sitting out waiting on a nice lizard to come through. Yeah, man, that is interesting. I would definitely love to know that. What is the difference? Oh, 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 that was a bite. That's a bite. That is a bite. Oh, must be a little guy. Must be a little guy. Oh, is he swimming with it? Yo, he's swimming with it. Oh, I pulled that out of his mouth. That was a horrible hook set. Horrible hook set. He was swimming with it. Did anybody see that? He was swimming with the lure in his mouth. They just not interested in the lizard? Is that what it is? Just not interested in my lizard buddy here? Two taps? 
One missed fish on the lizard. Well, I've tried very hard. We've completed that guy right there. We've completed this guy right here. Let's go with this one. Let's go with that color. All right. There we go, right there. Let's go up this way. First cast. We got one on the black and blue one, so. Well, the blue one with the blue flake, so. Let's see if they like this green color with the red and black flakes. Nobody's home? Nobody's home? Somebody has to be home. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that was a better fish. Got him. Good fish. Oh, he's just a little guy. Oh, he got a lot of fight in him, though. Whoa, he got a lot of fight in him. Water ski. Baby, you hit super hard. Pop them out. See? That right there. So I wonder if the last bass, the second bass that we caught, I wonder if that was a male. Uh, kind of a broken tail. Yeah. Nice little broken tail. Look, thick girl. I take you. Give me a kiss. <sighs> okay, so far, the only one that's left is the nice little trick worm. We haven't caught one off of the lizard, and we haven't caught one off the little Waller melon seed. I think right now would be the perfect time, the perfect time to throw one off. All right, now that we switched batteries, so what we did was we also switched rods also. Got the trick worm tied on. Um, uh, that's this, uh, I think that I can say the trick worm is one lure that I, ooh, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite. There's a bite. Oh, I got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Hey man, that's definitely a nice pretty fish right there. Nice little backbone to you. Hey, a couple more years, you're gonna grow into a nice fella. Back out there. Whew, that feels good, man. Let's freaking go. All right. We got our watermelon seed small Cinco on here now. Just this little guy right here. We got him tied on now. We're going to give him a couple casts. Ugh. Right there where a fish literally just hit a couple seconds ago. So far, the only thing we need a fish on now, guys, is the lizard and the Cinco that we have tied on right now. Those are the only two we need to catch a fish on, and we will be complete. Super hard and stressful trying to get one off of the lizard, though. Yeah. That's a fish. Can he take it? Can he take it? Are you going to take it, buddy? No? He's trying. Come on, take it. Can you take it or no? Oh yeah, you can take it. Come here. Come here. Water ski up. Come here. You can take it. Well, that is a fish right there. But he was so freaking hungry. 
that I got her though. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this video, man. The, I told you guys at the beginning of the video, the number one lure that I knew was going to be super hard to catch a fish was going to be the lizard. I've never caught a bass off of a lizard. So I knew once that kid came with lizards, I was like, eh, that's the reason why I got it, because I know it's going to be challenging. Hopefully we can get one, but we didn't get them, but it's okay. We've caught a fish on every soft plastic in here except for the lizard the lizards are my kryptonite i cannot get away from the lizards for nothing i don't know what it is just can't get rid of them i don't know what it is but we're going to continue to try we're going to keep trying with the lizard hopefully we can get better with it finesse it with it move it a little bit more better you know and be a little bit more patient with the lizard i guess he takes a little bit more finesse i'm guessing so i hope you guys enjoyed that video man if so hit that like button hit the subscribe button also get down in the comments let me know which other bass fishing kits you guys would like to see me use i got so much stuff already i just wanted to come out for a good competition and just do some good bass fishing and we did put some bass on the bank i'm satisfied i'm comfortable i'm perfect with what we caught so that is going to be it for this video guys i hope y'all enjoyed it make sure you leave a like subscribe definitely comment let me know what other videos y'all would like to see which other bass kits and that's gonna be it for this video man and i catch y'all in the next one